Hello? Who's there? I don't suppose you brought my coat. It's just that it's rather chilly in here, you know. Activate lighting grid. Ooh, ooh, bright. Yes, that's much better. Oh, of course. I should have guessed it was you. I think I preferred the anonymity provided by the darkness. I can't say I'm at all pleased to see you lot. Surprise party, is it? Silence! And a black Dalek as well, I see. You've obviously turned up for something frightfully important. Uh, forgive me for not waving, it seems my wrists are bound. And my elbows. And my neck, for that matter. And... You will be silent! Oh, you should know me better than that. Besides, the point of interrogation is to extract information from your captive. I can't very well spill the proverbial beans if my mouth is shut, now can I? So what is it that you wish to know? This is not an interrogation, Doctor! Not an interrogation, eh? Well, I did notice a slight whiff of tarotrol in the air. Am I right in assuming that I'm standing in a molecular disintegration cage? Yeah. So why am I still alive, if you don't mind my asking? You were ensnared within a Dalek time scoop. Time scoop, eh? I'm almost impressed. And my TARDIS? Your time-space capsule was saved from destruction. Pardon me for not thanking you, but I was mere moments from dematerialization, you know. Getting plucked out of time and space by a load of Daleks is hardly my style. I didn't require, nor did I request your help, is it? You were not rescued, Doctor. You have been recruited. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I actually cared. Recruited for what, exactly? To prevent the creation of a future threat to the Daleks! <laughs> Do you mean to say you're asking me to help you? I never suspected Daleks had a sense of humour. No any good knock-knock jokes? We require your assistance, Time Lord! And this is where I ask, why me, exactly? Hmm? Couldn't one of your oh-so-efficient Dalek task forces sort this mess out? The atmosphere in which this work is taking place contains a potentially lethal toxin. It is harmless to humanoid life, but it has the potential to... Exterminate the lot of you! Correct! Silence! 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 No need to get your eye stalks in a tizzy. I just want to know why you actually think I would willingly volunteer to help put a stop to something that could potentially destroy you. <laughs> I took you all off my Christmas list a long time ago, you know. You are our prisoner. You have no choice but to obey the Dalek. So you keep saying, however... We also possess your time-space capsule. Yeah, yes. You are powerless before the Dalek. Alex. I will grant you that. We also know of your weakness for your companions. Go on. We know that you wish to be reunited with the human female known as Melanie Bush. Melanie, you say? <sighs> Can't say as I know a Melanie. I, I knew a Melvin once. Discovered the new one, Neutrino, you know. You Remarkable. are lying. Observe the visualizer, Doctor. Terrible reception. Have you considered ordering a premium package? You get all the channels Images and... Images now appearing on visualizer. So then the Doctor comes running out of the tomb, covered head to toe in this blue powder, shouting at me to get down. Not the first time I've had to die for cover, mind you. Ah, oh, Mel. You're safe. We have you! We have your TARDIS! We have your companion! You will agree to help us! If you can assure Mel's safety, I will agree... Yours is a most exciting lifestyle, my dear. No. No, surely it can't be. As you have observed, my waking moments are dominated by mechanical upgrade and modification, or schematic and system profile. I rarely, if ever, have time for adventure. Believe me, Professor, working alongside you has been a welcome break. Davros! Surely that's Davros! Correct! Best return to those adjustments, Melanie. We don't have much time left. Of course. Time waits for no one. Hey, Professor? Oh, Melanie. 
What has Davros done to you? 